I am currently undercover at a high stakes amateur cash game right now. Game is extremely good. Who the fuck invited this guy? <laughs> the only rule is no pros are allowed. I'm just a YouTuber as far as they know. I'm gonna try to do my part to make sure that I look as DJ, as amateur as possible. We have three days in a row of poker coming up. Let's go undercover in the best game in Las Vegas. One way these amateurs spice up Texas Hold'em is by playing the stand-up game. Here are the rules. If you're the last person at the table to win a hand, you pay everyone $50. And the game never ends. They keep track of who has won a hand with these red buttons. These are worth $50 each. But even more importantly, not having one at the end costs $400. I buy in for 1000 which is small compared to everyone else, which will make my life easier in the stand-up game. Two opponents, AJ and Cal, make my life a living hell in this game, and you're about to see why. First hand, we have Queen Jack and call a raise to 35. In this game, 35 is like an open to 50 cents at your home game. Most players don't have a red button yet, with six ways to a flop, which comes four, jack, three. Pre-flop raiser bets 125, and with 335 in the pot, I bump it up to 600. My strategy is not to spend too much time thinking. Amateurs hate tanking and we're on a cover right now. I'm basically all in and we get a call. Now we're heads up at least and on the eight turn card, I'm happy to check it down. The river comes the beautiful queen of clubs. She goes all in, we can't call fast enough. We take down $2,000 and gather our first button. Never get to see what she had. Just watch though how crazy this table plays for the button. That was a $1,500 bet into how much? Uh, $75. <laughs> <laughs> These guys do $100 flips every single time someone loses an all-in, which happens quite often in this game, and luck wasn't on our side. It's the next stand-up game, and we pick up Ace-King. There's a raise in a re-raise to 105 in front of me. Frankie, 350. Whoa. <laughs> understands that this game is silly, and now he's going to spoil the shit out of it. Man, they're catching on quick. Okay, 350? Yeah. Just enough for you to fall into Okay, I'm all in. They don't play. I call. Queens? Ace, ace? Yeah. You hear I call for Queens, because that's really our best case scenario. The pros don't get an edge calling five bets with Ace King, and we ran into worst case situation. However, pros always come with more money, and now it's time to reload and get them back. Thank you. You are never guaranteed to win in poker, even versus amateurs. All right, we have them right where we want them. Don't worry about that last hand. Let's get back in there. This game's good. We have six five of diamonds now, and we've lost a few hundred dollar flips. We're short, so it's not ideal to do this, but we call a huge raise from Megan to 200, who apparently has quite the reputation. I'm recording. I'm ahead. Oh, you were set? No. <laughs> we get exactly the flop I was hoping for, literally the dream. We're actually a slight favorite on this flop, only with six high, and eight of clubs in the turn seals Megan's fate. Sorry, Megan. We continue to chip up, getting an all in through with Ace King, taking down 400, and we've been collecting $50 each time we've won the stand up game. Then the most insane hand I've ever played develops. I peel 7 2 first to act. The 7 deuce game means if you win it anyway, anyhow, with 7 2, you win $50 from each player. I put in $20, and Megan raises to 100. And in theme with this game, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 calls. I'm just gonna call and try to hit two per- Psych! All in. I knew it. Did I not tell you guys? You guys didn't hear me. I go all in. And you will never believe it, but everyone- No, Megan snap calls so quick. I'm ahead. You have aces? I do. Oh, that's no good. You wanna go multiple times? Seven four seven on the flop. Hold, hold. Pay up. Oh. That is your highlight of the year. Of your life. That's so true. You know what? Oh, if you yeah. folded, I was gonna call it eight high. It tripled up. We went from down seven hundred to up one thousand. Everything seemed great. I was happy to lose a couple flips and head home a winner. But AJ 
has different plans for us. I have ace queen and raise it to 40. Jonathan and AJ call on the blinds. The flop comes queen six deuce rainbow. I bet 40 and AJ in the big blind raises to 150. We make the call, stand up game still in play like always, and the turn comes the four of hearts. AJ continues for $350 now and one pair, not feeling great, but we make the call. The river comes in offsuit eight. It takes AJ about 12 seconds, yes I counted, to decide to move all in. AJ, you crazy, bro. The pot wasn't even half that size. We don't have any read on AJ being our first night with him. So we make the fold, and he takes exactly 12 seconds to show 9-4 offsuit. Pure agony. We make the wrong fold, but I've forgiven myself. That's a tough spot. We make one more wrong fold at the end, which causes us to lose the stand-up game. In 30 minutes, we went from up 1,000 to down 400. But we're back to the Tropicana the very next day, and there's so much more in store for us. Our cover has not been blown yet, so this is our time to win it all back. Let's see what we can do. Day number two starts right now. Maximize the losses. <laughs> yes, absolute best model. It's funny, they start the day with a $600 flip which I did not participate in. Everything here is pure action. 2580, 175, 800, 800. What am I doing here? I'm all in with A6 offsuit, fighting for a button, and get called by Jonathan, who's already on a $3,000 swing in the first 15 minutes. Yes, 3,000. We're up against King Jack, and things are looking great to start the day before the 10 on the turn gives him a straight. You see, it's so much better to gamble than to pay everyone $400 for losing the stand up game, which is why I call a $75 raise preflop with 6 4 off suits. And we flop three of a kind. This is gonna be great for the table image. Frankie. I have five buttons. What? Okay. Is that all you have? No, I have more. Look. <laughs> One or twice? Are you not sure you're gonna call the turn when I blow up? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, just let's find out. <laughs> well, let's play the hand out. We'll play the hand out. Relax as usual. Check. All of us. Call. Right. I have queens. I have a four. You have a four? Yeah. Four is probably good. Four is good. Who the fuck invited this guy? <laughs> Don't even put a river. I'm just gonna pay. What a hand. We keep chipping up this time, pulling a huge bluff through with A3 clubs, and then get a big all in through 10 9 of hearts. This is all part of the stand up game strategy. Now we're gonna get some big hands, extract some value, and take all their money. Do you allow pro players this table? Absolutely not. Oh, YouTubers? Yeah, YouTubers. And rich guys that are working temper feeding. <laughs> <laughs> we get Jonathan twice tonight as we steal a button after jamming with an open ender and getting the fold. Chihuahua time. When you do get a good hand at this table, you get paid. I get my ace king all in versus ace queen, and you can hear the entire table rooting against me at this point. I believe that oh. Oh, oh, wow. queen. Last queen. That was really bad. Last queen. Uh, when all things are pointing to a big win. I was gonna raise the turn. I'm like, you would've folded though. I would've folded. How gets me in a huge pot to steal half of my winnings right at the end of the night. But we end the day with a profit of $500. Again, not the result that I wanted. Leaves us up 100 total on the game. AJ and Cal, I'm coming back tomorrow for my vengeance. Now is day three where we come in, get some good hands, and just take all the money before our cover is blown. Start the day, we get heads up in the stand-up game and look down at King Queen. This is why I buy in for 1K. After it goes race 30 and two people call, I shove for 1,000. Triangle means all in. This should get through a lot of the time. You're not folding? You're not folding? He calls her that? Nah, ace three. Ace three, John? The first run out is for half the pot, which is super important, and that doesn't work. Oh! And we don't hit a king or queen on that one, and we don't hit one on the second board. We lose $400 for the side game and get stacked. The $400 comes from our new buy-in, so we're starting our second buy-in already down $400. And then we lose the $100 flip that we have to play because we just rebought. Not a good start for us. All right, so actually with the short stack, I have a really good position here to just shove with three people left on the stand-up game. We aren't losing again. We're jamming me too. They don't know that, and hopefully we have some fold equity. But heads up again for the stand-up game, and thankfully our opponent makes the fold in front of us. When it folds to me, I act like I look at my cards, but I don't care what the two cards are. I'm all in. I'm winning this. If I have oh any ace, any king, 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 king. 
It's a jack, I'm not scared. That was a bluff. I am most definitely scared right now. Please don't be an ace. Whew. I was scared. David. Oh! Would have been better. I made fifty dollars. Yeah. An hour's pass, and I haven't seen two face cards since that king queen hit. We're down to our last three hundred dollars. Now is when I start to question if I even could win in this game with all the different games, action, flips, Omaha bomb pots that go on. I have eight six offsuit and I'm heads up again in the stand up game. An all in won't get folds with my stack at this point, so I just call and we need a good flop. Nope. The last remaining member besides me, Jonathan, has trips, and we lose the stand-up game once again. I put my last $1,000 onto the table. When the absolute nuts stream hits a certain amount of likes, Jonathan to my right puts out a blind bet of $100, and the timing is impeccable. We look down at Ace Queen of Hearts. I raised to 300, and we've seen all in from Megan for a thousand. We know we're behind, but we have to call, hoping for a button too. I can't lose another stand-up game at this point. I've already lost two. You have the best chance. I, I really hope that you can. Yes. Yes! The ace on the river was so crucial for us. We're back up to $1,700 in our stack, and the very next round of the stand up game, I have pocket tens. Nemesis won. AJ raises to 70 with a couple limps in front of him, and Jonathan three bets to 225. It's a close spot, but with a stand up game in play, I go all in, putting the pressure back on him. Take that, AJ. It's always good to be your nemesis, but AJ's actually a really nice guy. Frankie knows I have a weapon. Correct. You know, yeah, you need yeah. girl. That's actually a really good guess, but you can't read my poker face. Um, Heading to a flop for one of our biggest pots yet, and it is divine. Did you hit a deuce? Did you hit a deuce? <laughs> Scoop versus Ace Queen, and for the first time of the day, are officially up money. Just like night one, just like two, when things are turning around for us after a slow start, we're playing super deep versus the Nemesis 2 Cal. He does not care about money. We're three ways to a flop of King 9 8 Rainbow. I check to Cal, who bets the size of the pot. Go figure. I make the call with top pair, and the turn comes to four of diamonds. Honestly, a great card, but still, it's hard to play one pair $3,000 effective. He bets 150. I make the call. And the river comes to six of clubs. I check and he bets $820. <sighs> Just like these queen hands. We've got one pair and we're up against a capable bluffer. Our entire three days comes down to this decision. This time, I make the call and he shows. 10-7 off suit for the river nuts. Cal has done this to me three days in a row. Nuts, 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 I have the nuts, I have the nuts, I have the nuts, I have the nuts. Have the nuts. I wanted to finish this video with a win so bad to prove that I can beat the amateurs, but I never said the story was over. The very next hand I get dealt ace king, put my acting shoes on, make it look tilted with a big raise to 100, and the buttonless Megan three bets to 400. I quickly jam, which makes Megan promptly fold. That's about half of the loss I just had recovered. Now it's deep into the nine. I look down at my favorite hand, Jack 10 of hearts. With a $25 straddle on, I raised to 100. I'm not looking. Maybe I'll. What if you have to put more money into the pot? Calls blind. Cal blind called 100. AJ doesn't have a button and he re raises to 400. Are you trying to squeeze me because I haven't even looked yeah. at it? He's got a big stack covering us, as does Cal. Now all of our nightmares are coming together. We're sandwiched between Cal and AJ. I don't want to fold this strong of a hand or call and play post pop between these two maniacs. So we do something ill advised to most and debatably insane ourselves. I push all in. AJ, you're full of it. Cal takes a look at his cards for the first time and folds, and AJ asks for a count. If he calls and we lose, then we're going to be down 3,000, and we'll probably have a seat for life because I did just jam with Jack High. He makes the call. You guys want to play? Yeah, you have to, bro. No. Wait, what's that? I, I said twice. Oh, Coming to a second board, it comes 10 on the flop. 
What the? Columbia? Ten, two pair, and he scoops. What? Yeah. Nice king. What an amazing spot. I got super lucky. Frankie yeah. was tilt as fuck as we tried to do this. Like, yeah. He gets pay up. Yeah. That's a good description. Why, Frankie? Why, why you just go kamikaze, bro? Frankie! Yeah. <laughs> it went over $5,000 pot. We stay out of the stand-up game and away from Cal to in the night, a massive winner. We finished the three days up about $3,000. That was exhilarating. I can't thank the guys who run the absolute nuts stream enough. I'm not sure if I'll have an invite again after calling them all amateurs on my very public YouTube channel, but I did play one more time between this weekend and posting this video where I had one of the biggest scores in the history of my life. Subscribe to see more. Peace. Because you raced only 75. Oh, <laughs>